community, so thank you. For me, uh, the association with Dress for Success is very personal. I have always believed in uh, economic independence for women, and I've believed in helping women put their best foot forward, and in empowering women at the workplace. So I thought very briefly, because like a true m and banker, I do have to catch a flight tonight, i give you one uh, little story on why I feel personally about each one of these. Economic independence and being able to have the right to have your own dreams and being able to have the right to make choices in life. Even before I could articulate those words, those words were real to me. My great-grandmother used to tell really beautiful stories. And as all her great-grandchildren used to sit around her and listen to her tell those stories, she would have been a great author. She was married at the age of six, never went to school, and so never had the opportunity or even possibility of thinking about being an author. My grandmother, her daughter, was a very good singer and she always wanted to secretly perform on stage, but it wasn't considered something that girls from good families do, because that was what the show girls did. So she never got an opportunity to perform on stage. And my mother wanted to walk on the moon and be an astronomer, <laughs> and she didn't have the opportunity to do that either. So very early in life, I. I figured that if I had money, maybe nobody would be able to tell me what to do. And that I would be able to make decisions for myself. So, <laughs> so a very early goal for me was to get educated, get a job, and uh, have enough money so that you get to engage with the world on your own terms. So I deeply believe joy and rest for success's goal of empowering women with financial and economic independence. It is a bit ironic, and some of the people from JP Morgan, some of my family who's here, know this, that I actually never gave any importance to dress or clothing or makeup or any of these things. So when I started in this profession, um, some people kindly and some people not so kindly told me that this was important. I looked down upon that. I said, why does it matter? This is form over substance. My job is to get the math right, to get the analytics right, to be logical about it, and to give the right advice and the right recommendation. How does it matter whether I have makeup on, whether my hair is done, and whether I have a suit on? But I very soon realized, what I'm sure all of you already know, that people make up your mind, make up their mind about you, as soon as you walk in the room. And when I was walking in the room, they were making up their minds. And after that, there was a lot that I had to do to overcome the impression that they had already formed. So it is ironic today that I'm standing in front of you for Dress for Success, because I had to learn the hard way with people telling me that I had to, that curly hair was considered unkempt, you have to get your hair blow dried, you need to learn how to put makeup on, and, uh, and, and that uh, clothing does, uh, does matter. And that's why um, I did go to Dress for Success originally for my first interview, because most people said, you should dress for the job you want. But you don't know whether you're gonna get the job you want, and I wasn't willing to spend the money on a suit till I knew I had the job. <laughs> Um, and, so, uh, and so thank you, Dress for Success, for giving me my start in my wow. career. And I do believe that each of us can empower other women. There are several bankers and lawyers in this room, several of whom have, you've helped me along the way, and you may not even have realized that. There are many times over the past 20 years when I've wondered whether I'm doing the right thing. When I joined this business, people did tell me that the jury is still out on whether a woman can be successful in the M&A business. Most of the CEOs, chairmen, and boards are men, and will they take advice and listen and trust someone who looks like this? But there were many moments, sometimes when we walked out of a board meeting, sometimes when a deal got done, 
sometimes when a deal didn't get done, that many of you told me, there's something special in you, go for it, don't give up. Sometimes it was family who told me that, sometimes friends, sometimes the other bankers and lawyers. So thank you to all of you, you may not have realized it, but at various moments you gave me the courage to keep going, because there are times when this business gets hard and you feel like, I don't know whether I have it in me to keep going. So you never know how one word of kindness and one word of encouragement can make a difference to someone else. So today I have a very simple ask of you, whether you're a man or a woman in this room, choose one other woman, either professionally who you know, or someone in your family, or someone who you know in your neighborhood or your community, and choose to mentor them, any one person. And imagine what this room can do. This is a very full room, and if each of you just choose one woman to mentor, you can make a difference to their life. I love the words that Dress for Success has, that you want to create more girl bosses. And I'll tell you a story as to how it makes a difference to, in young girls' minds, to have role models. One of the partners that I work with, we were on a long call on a weekend, and so he had me on speaker while he was cooking for his daughters. And we were having a very intense conversation and strategizing about how to go back. And these two girls were hearing me, and after the call, they told their father, they were like, is she your boss? Because the concept of a woman being a boss was strange to them. So if each of you choose to mentor one woman, I am hopeful that there are a lot more girl bosses in this world. <laughs> So thank you, Dress for Success, for honoring me today. It was very kind. And thank you to all the people who are here from the m and community, from my J.P. Morgan family, and from my New York family. Woohoo!